Dr. Ashton, of course, uh, tracking all the mm -hmm. major developments. But this uh, big number we're keeping an eye on, and one we're really proud to put up here, 3.4 million. That is in $3.4 million, the amount the World Food Program has raised for children and families in southern Madagascar who are experiencing uh, that drought, that devastation, that climate change, of course, is, is bringing that. And this was based, this is all after uh, David's uh, groundbreaking reporting from there. So that reporting uh, absolutely made a difference. It got people's attention. 25,000 people have donated. That is incredible. I was talking. Saved lives. We've all yeah, talked about this. Yeah. That reporting was incredible. No, and it's very sweet of you guys to, to reach out afterwards. And th these are the kinds of stories, and you guys have done them too, where you, I, I carry the photographs of the children on my yeah. phone still to this day. And, and if it, it, you, people have talked about climate change for years, about something down the road. And I think whatever we can do to show that it's not down the road, it, it, it's here. Yeah. And we can help um, these children right now and our viewers I always say you know don't underestimate the power of our viewers mm -hmm. and the generosity yeah. and their interest level in in families and children all over the world look Amazing. what they've done look what they've done as we head into Thanksgiving that's that's truly what I'm what I'm thankful and for folks, so. you can keep the donations coming you can continue to donate but that money is showing up uh, we're not just talking about something uh, online no the money is getting there so Please, yeah. thank you again for what you're yeah. doing and Amazing. keep that money coming. We've made it easy. Right yeah. on the homepage, abcnews.com, yep. you, can, you can check it out. And I know we continue to track the pandemic yep. every day with Dr. Jen. And one of the headlines I wanted to ask you about is the fact that we're starting to see this uptick. I, mm -hmm. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. We knew this, though, with colder right. weather and people getting together and Thanksgiving is coming. But 17 or so states seeing this uptick right now? Yep, we're keeping an eye on 17 states. And as we look at case numbers and statistics, we're also learning more about the pathophysiology, so how this virus does damage to the body. In particular, a new study done by the NIH, small study, but they looked at actually, unfortunately, autopsy results of patients who had died of COVID-19. They found diffuse damage to the air sacs in the lungs that therefore prevents oxygen flow, makes the lungs thick and stiff, making it more difficult to oxygenate. They also found evidence that the virus damages the cell's ability to repair itself. So it's kind of a one-two punch there. And then really tracked the way detective work, how the virus manipulates the immune system and causes clotting. Uh, big study, and it's important as we look at the big picture cases, David, in the country that we also remember we're still learning about how this virus works well, inside the you body. You have said this all the way through this, that we still don't know what That's we right. don't know. Yeah. But you have talked about the lungs from the very start and the potential damage, and now we're starting to see the And data. very different behavior of this virus in terms of the lung damage than, let's say, a virus like influenza. Yeah, be aware and just be careful with the holidays yeah. coming up. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.